Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First rate, Gerwin to throw first. Game on! Opening quarterfinal of the night. It's the Iceman and the Rockstar. I'm Dan Dawson, and Paul Nicholson is alongside me in the comms box. 96. Where's your money, Dan? Who do you think's going to take it? I'm going to put you on the spot from the very start. Well, at the very start of this weekend, I made a bold 97. and confident prediction that Glenn Durrant would be the man, and he was knocked out in round one, so don't think it matters. But I did actually say the start of today, but watch out for Jose de Sousa. Wow. Well, very much like you, Dan. My prediction went out the window this afternoon because I tipped on Sosulovic after he played decent at the World Cup last week. I thought he would go on and defend his title, and he was taken out by Dave Chisnell. Yeah, it was a belting wow. game, but two match starts missed by Mensor Sulevic means that we will have a new winner here in Denmark, and it could well be the Iceman because he is one of the four horses. Wow. Yeah, I think he's got to be the favourite at this point. There's three of them. There's four of them. Eight. North of another two. But it's a very bright start from the Welshman. One round he, of course, has 31. got a Go Grand Slam ticket in the 40. bank. Some of the guys left in the draw do not. And that's the extra carrot at the end of the string tonight if they get the title. Now, there's the volume that we expect from the number three seed. Hopefully another classic on our hands because we've had plenty of them this week on already. Certainly have, and these two have gone head-to-head -head a few times over the last few months. Gerwin Price victorious convincingly at the UK Open, but Joe Cullen, his magical match play campaign last year, saw him thrash Gerwin 10-3 in the first round before he went on to make the quarterfinals and mismatch starts to beat the eventual champion Gary Anderson. Things could have been very, very different had he taken that chance. Well, what's really exciting, apart from that second 180 from Getty, is that by getting a new winner on the European Tour tonight, it just keeps things fresh, doesn't it? It's not an interview with Van Gogh and at the end of a Sunday, as per usual, or Ian White, because he has now been eliminated. Yeah, Jermaine Watamena impressively seeing off Ian White. Coming wow. from behind, won four legs 34. on the spin this afternoon. The machine gun, another one of those players who is looking to go further than he's ever gone before on the European the tour. Yeah, first time for J-Dub in this part of the tournament, and Gezi's going for tops. 84. Will Joe Cullen Could be going for tops? 144. Probably not. There's 54, leaving 90. There's another 54, leaving 36. Ah, and he's got it! 144 from Cullen. And that's the shot that Gezi Price took out yesterday against Ryan Harrington. Fabulous stuff from Joe Cullen. Well, we know what he's got in in the tank, Joe Cullen. We know he's got these enormous wow. displays, 107, 108 averages, because he's done it many, many times on the European Tour. His problem has been, he usually does it on a Saturday, maybe on a Sunday afternoon. When it gets to the final session of action, he hasn't quite worked out how to keep that going. And that's why he's always 57. fallen at the quarters and the semi-final stages. In fact, Gerwin inflicted a semi-final defeat on him by a, a solitary leg at the Austrian Darts Open last year. Well, that was the one, wasn't it? That's the closest that Joe's been to a final, and that one hurt him. So maybe tonight, because it's the same opponent, he'll think, do you know what? I want to exact a bit of revenge for that and see if I can go one better and possibly give myself a chance for this title. 65. Now, in these kind of spots, he's got to put the pressure on Gezi by getting two trebles. Gonna have to settle for one. Going to require 56. Oh, Price. Tops again. Time it goes. goes. 13 data. Three legs, all holds a throw, but Gerwin Price is the man who is one the aggressor in this one. When is he not? Well, quite. Just the 113 average right now for Gerwin Price. Is that it? That'll put a dent in it, mind. Down to 108. Terrible. 59. Did average a ton in beating Ryan Harrington yesterday. He averaged 
about half a point shy of a turn in seeing off Stephen Bunting, where Maggio is totally in control wow. of all the way through. 77. Gerwin Price is starting to show why he is the favourite for this title so far. He just looks so hungry, so fresh. Not a bead of sweat on that brow. He looks ready and focused for this. And Joe Cullen is going to have to find something that we haven't seen from him this year. But no matter what happens, I am buoyed by the fact that Joe Cullen has turned up this week. Some positives. And he was under pressure. This afternoon was Joe because if he'd lost that game against Peter Wright, then he would have provisionally been outside 53. the seedings for Euro Tours later Very in the season. Yeah, well, Joe Cullen has said many times in the past that quarterfinals and these Euro Tours is what he sees as the bare minimum. Anything less than that is a failure. Double 16. Going Price breaks through and takes a two leg advantage. Things first. beginning to look ominous for Joe Cullen. Where does Gezi rank in the world now for you, Dan, on the finishing stakes? I, I think he's improved immensely in the last 12 months. I think if we looked at his percentage two years ago compared to now, I think it'd be drastically different in a positive way. Well, I think that one of the biggest things that has improved in Garen Price's game is his willingness to go for double eight and double 16, which he used to avoid like the plague. He did everything he could, sometimes silly things, trying to hit doubles to leave double top and double 12. Rather than just going, I know the sensible shot, other players go for it, double six, leave double 16, double eight. 81. Um, and the thing is, he's put the work in, he's practiced it, he hits them regularly, and it's giving him more options. He's playing a much more conventional setup game now. And it's coincided with him playing the best darts we've seen from him. He's almost uncomplicating the game for himself. Yeah, exa exactly. It's like you read the Weirdy Manual on how to win dart matches. Went down that route and realised, oh, there's actually another chapter to this book, is there? Written by another author. I think I'll read that one as well. I think he's read every word and the grave pieces in between. Oh, another one. Double 16 for an absolute beauty! Appreciation with a capital appreciation. Special stuff from Gerwin Price. When he first started playing PDC darts and he first appeared on the Euro Tour, you'd see him take out the odd big finish here and there. It was a bit of a calling card of his. This year, you are seeing him take them out with alarming regularity. The 1 3 2 there, the 1 4 4 against Ryan Harrington, the massive checkouts at the UK Open, a couple of big 160 plus checkouts against Jamie Hughes in the same match. When you need a big combination finish, Gerwin Price is one of the most likely players to produce it. It's like when Whitlock first moved over to the PDC. And I know there are a lot of. PDC TV fans out there who don't like Gerwin Price for whatever reason. Doesn't matter what you think. He is good. You know it. He's not just good. He's better than that. He is incredible. He's not everybody's cup of tea. All right, fair enough. You might not like him, but you will respect this man. He is a top, top player. Oh, he's trying to go for the Watamina shot, mm. who finished the afternoon session on a 57 tops Bobby tops combo. Joe, you Wasn't up to it this time, and maybe Cullen needs to take this 1-2-7 in game to get himself within two. It's not going to go, and you know Price is going to go for 60 double 15. Well, Joe Cullen here, he, he's Go just gone five one way. down. He's only had one so dart at double in this first. entire game. Joe Cullen because Gerwin Price has not let him have any more than that. He very rarely gives much away on stage, Joe wow. Cullen, but already you've seen oh, one howl of frustration. You've seen visible signs of disappointment. 96. I know he's not been feeling 100%, but he will have seen this with no MVG here and a guaranteed new winner on the European Tour wow. for the year on the way this evening. You would have seen this as an opportunity. And once again, it's a quarter-final where he's just not had enough 
He's not been bad, but he's just had the stuffing completely knocked out of him by this devastating performance from Gerwin yeah, Price. Yeah, too right. He's going to have to take the positives. I'm not writing him off, but it's looking very likely it's going to be over in the next three dots for Gezi. Joe Cullen can take a lot of positives from this weekend, but Gerwin Price is going to take positives and big positives into the semis. The best display we've seen so far this Gerwin weekend Shaw. from Gerwin Price. He Gerwin knows Price. it was good. Finishes it with an 11 data, 110 average for Gerwin Price. It was a ton against Ryan Harrington. It was a ton against Stephen Bunting. It's 110 now.